Well, hey everybody, something pretty interesting. Uh, uh, kind of awesome, kind of not awesome. So here were the high temperatures in Colorado, some of the local ones, and then a Grand Junction I threw in because they tied, they tied their record of 106, and then this is their all-time high temperature record at 107. I just saw Death Valley, California. It's a Furnace Creek. It's like the hottest place in the United States. Hit 130 degrees yesterday. To put that into perspective, that's four degrees shy of the all time record hottest ever recorded at Death Creek or uh, Furnace Creek in Death Valley. 100 by June, uh, July 10th. That's, that's not great because this is kind of early in the summer and that deep heat often lags a little bit to the end of the month or even into August. So I don't know if we can hit 134 in Death Valley, but I'll tell you what, it's, it's a little early for 130. So we'll go back here again. We had huge heat yesterday. Colorado Springs 96, didn't get to 100, but Pueblo certainly did. And La Junta was 107 yesterday. Now behind that is this beautiful cold front still spilling into the plains. It's been a little breezy in Fremont County, but this is often an I-25 East wind component. And it's out of the north. Renee this morning brought up a good point. Semi-truck drivers, that's a strong wind out of the north. But if you're going east and west, that's your bigger concern. So like Highway 50, that's where your truck would lean a little bit. But I often say we have to get that wind closer to 60 miles per hour before you can tip a truck over. So it's got to be a little bit stronger breeze out of the north than what we have. It's kind of mild behind this front because the wind is mixing the air up. And so if we were calm, I think this would actually be a cooler start to the day. But trust me, that cool influence will show up this afternoon. Remember, La Junta, we had a forecast high of 107 registered yesterday. Today, I don't even have you to 90. I have you right there. So that is a much, much better forecast coming our way today. Looking at the jet stream, a high pressure ridge is built into the west. This is part of why we got so hot at Death Valley and we got so hot here in Colorado. A little dip in the jet stream has brought this cold and windy influence to Colorado. Maybe cold's not the right word, but cooler air will settle in behind this cold front. I think you guys are going to know what I'm talking about at the evening here. It will be a stunning evening across southern Colorado. We've got a cold front sagging south and just some showers that are moving away from us this afternoon. So I have us dry today, tomorrow into Monday. I will say it does get a little hotter going forward from here. 91 on Monday and then some storm chances start to creep back in going into next week. So like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The best storm days are probably on Wednesday and Thursday. In my opinion, I see some of the best moisture in those days. Looking at Pueblo, uh, just kind of windy this morning, but then going forward here, I actually think we're looking at some storm chances out towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that's probably a bit of a monsoon influence. So we're hoping maybe that little extra moisture push from the south can help us get some showers and storms. Canyon City, we got a little nice weekend here. It's going to be a little warm warmer and hotter going through that extended and then finally Woodland Park. We've got some 70s going to 80s and 70s in the extended. Renee, I'm just I'm excited about the rain. Not only is it a little cooler when it comes, mm 